Hey everybody, this video is about the basics of STEM OPT. Check us out. Okay, so when I'm talking about OPT, I'm talking about post-completion OPT, all right? If you're looking at pre-completion OPT, check out one of our other videos. Post-completion OPT is essentially a program that has been 12 months of a work permit to work in uh, the, an industry that is affiliated with your profession, okay? Now, everybody gets uh, OPT, everybody gets 12 months after you complete a specific type of program. The USCIS came up with a specific extension on OPT for individuals who graduate in these STEM professions. Now, the STEM professions are science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The STEM OPT is an additional 24 months of OPT that begins at the end of regular OPT. That means that if you've graduated, let's say you have a bachelor's degree, and that degree is in engineering. Any profession you like, whatever, civil engineering, let's just say. Well, right off the top of a, 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 off the bucket, you, you're in a profession which is engineering, and it's very, very likely, almost 99%, that it qualifies for STEM OPT. You apply for OPT the way we've already described in some of our other videos. You get the timing right, you do all those things right, and you get 12 months of OPT with the work permit in your hands. Now, as you get close to the end of that OPT, you need to work very, very closely with your DSO and your company to file the STEM OPT extension. STEM OPT is 24 months for individuals who have a degree, and every school is different, but that degree should correlate to a STEM profession. Now, we'll put a link up on our page here that'll take you to the STEM professions, but the truth is, the way a school categorizes specific degrees will let you know immediately whether you're getting STEM or not, and your DSO probably knows that. So if you're in some of those midline professions, which might be, um, maybe aren't so sure, management information services, for example, uh, or management information systems, pardon me, MIS, you know, that is a degree that's not exactly hard tech, and it's not, you know, sort of engineering, but it really is normally a STEM degree, okay? But you're gonna need to look at your school and talk to them about that. And there are some business degrees that have a statistical background that might be STEM as well. But again, you have to look at those things because the degree that your school categorizes it as is gonna be what matters, okay? So in the end, STEM OPT, when you hear people talk about that, it's a program of 24 months extension of OPT. It has a very different application. You have to write up a training plan. You have to give information about how your employer will evaluate you. And you have to lay it out very clearly with time. And that is submitted on sevens. Very, very important that you understand this process because it takes a lot of work. Get all that done and your STEM OPT can be ready for you to start as soon as you finish your regular OPT, giving you an extra 24 months. If you're planning now, you're watching these videos to figure out what you're going to do, Getting into a STEM profession isn't one of the best ways to get ahead here in the United States. Uh, job opportunities are many, but this is an example of how you get extra work time just because you're in the STEM, STEM professions and you get it for free on a, on a work permit, which is the best way to work in the United States. If you got any questions, comments, leave them down below for us. We also love it if you just give us a call if you want to chat about something, we're here. All right, take care. Bye.